Today, I'm going to show you how I get ChatGPT free backlinks. So basically how I use AI and leverage ChatGPT to get free backlinks, how I create DR94 backlinks. I'll give you all the free SAPs, templates, and processes. We'll cover seven unique AI ChatGPT link building methods, and I'll show you proof each link building strategy actually works. Let's go. So one of the best things that ChatGPT can actually do is build linkable assets and tools that you can embed in your website to attract more backlinks. So for example, if you look at this keyword, super difficult to rank for, you can see a lot of pages getting backlinks right here. And if we scroll to the first page of Google, you can see that this particular page has a free SEO tool and that has attracted 840 unique referring domains to the page, right? And you can see that pretty much all of the pages with tools right here have backlinks pointed. So how do you build your own tool that can attract lots of backlinks naturally using ChatGPT? So I actually have this SAP right here that guides you through it. And I call this the link building bait calculator method, right? And what you can actually do is you can go onto ChatGPT, so you can see right here, and you can use a problem like this. Now you would replace SEO ROI calculator with whatever tool you want to build. Then you can embed it inside a WordPress blog and create a custom HTML block. And once it's embedded, it's going to look something like this. And then once it's ranking for its keyword, it should attract backlinks naturally. Plus you can promote it to websites via outreach to get more backlinks to it in the beginning. But basically all you're doing is creating a linkable asset on your website that's kind of like a tool that would attract backlinks to it, either through outreach or through getting backlinks naturally. Now here's the process step by step. So first of all, you would do keyword research around calculators in your niche. So let's say for example, you're in the finance niche, right? So you could put finance and calculator and find a bunch of relevant calculator keywords right here. So for example, car finance calculator, finance calculator, auto finance calculator. And you can see how each of these keywords are pretty competitive. But that is good because that means there's a lot of links to be built in that space for this particular page. Then you would scrape the link building prospects for outreach. How would you do that? So for example, you can go to this particular keyword right here and you would just see who is linking to your competitors. So you can see, for example, this particular page has 3,900 backlinks. And these are all potential websites that you could promote your content to to get backlinks to it as well. Like I've shown you, you can get ChatGPT to create the calculator using this prompt right here, and then just embed it on your website, like I've already shown you. And if you want the full SAP, you can get access to that. Links in the comments and description, and it will guide you through it step by step in my free course. Now on that note, you can also create linkable assets on your website using ChatGPT because it's really good with data, right? So for example, if you look at Backlinko and you look at some of their most linked pages right here, so you can see how many do follow backlinks each page has. You can see that their case studies and data right here. So for example, Google CTR stats, social media user stats, link building case studies, etc., are the ones getting the most backlinks. So how can you use ChatGPT to create your own linkable assets? You can actually get data from websites like Kaggle, for example, which is completely free. So for example, let's say you're creating a linkable asset on your website about YouTube. And uh, maybe you create a guide on YouTube ranking factors, for example. What you can do is take a data set from Kaggle or multiple data sets. And there are many other places to get data sets from, but this is one of the best. So for example, trending YouTube video statistics right here, we can download this and that will download as a zip file. And you can see essentially this is about YouTube trending video statistics. So we could use this inside a guide on our website and use ChatGPT to actually extract the most useful statistics from this data set, organize them, turn them into nice images, tables, etc., and create a linkable asset on our website that ranks for our keyword and attracts lots of backlinks to it. So I've uploaded the CSV, as you can see directly inside ChatGPT, and you can see it's analyzing the data, right? So it said, Based on the data set you've provided, here are some insights and statistical breakdowns that can be leveraged to enrich your guide for YouTube statistics, right? Then it's got engagement metrics, trends over time, etc. You can see this analyzing the data that we've actually uploaded. It will just work its magic from there. As an example of this working in action, you can see this particular page collated a lot of relevant statistics about climate change, and you can see it attracted multiple do follow backlinks right here. You can also ask it to visualize your data, like you can see right here and here. 
and it creates multiple charts, right? So like bar charts, line charts, pie charts, etc. And there's also a bunch of custom GPTs inside the GPT store. So for example, if you type in like charts, you've got flow chart genius, chart generator, chart maker, and data visualizer. Now they did used to have plugins within chat GPTs, but that seems to be phased out and replaced by GPTs. But either way, what you're essentially doing is taking a custom data set, training chat GPT on it, building out a linkable asset on your website that you can then use to get backlinks like this to rank for a relevant data related keyword and attract more backlinks to your website. Now you might say as well, okay, what sort of keywords should I be going for to attract these sort of backlinks? I would aim for like data or statistics related keywords and then replace chat GPT with whatever niche you're in. So for example, if your niche was chat GPT, we go on a keyword like this, you can see that most of the pages on the first page of Google have backlinks pointing to them. And all they've done is basically chop up and design and collate different statistics about chat GPT, which you can do in any industry. And once you're ranking for keywords like this, you get more backlinks to your website. Plus you can do outreach and reach out to other websites and promote this particular page. Now, another way to get free backlinks, and this kind of just happens as a byproduct. I wouldn't say it's like my main link building strategy, but what you can see right here is that when you're creating custom GPTs, for example, like this custom GPT right here, which is a keyword research tool. Number one, I'm automating a lot of the work that I do. Number two, I'm attracting backlinks to this tool and also to my website naturally as a result. And additionally, what you can see here is that it's ranking for multiple keywords organically on Google because it's attracting a lot of backlinks pointing to it, right? Now, this was not the intention when I built this tool. I just wanted to automate stuff and then create helpful tools that would, for example, save people time by automating keyword research and saving people money, etc. But what you can actually see is that we're getting a lot of backlinks here from real websites. So for example, there's an AI for that.com, which is a DR74 backlink and gets over a million traffic is actually linked with a backlink to this particular page. And these backlinks are coming in every single day. So for example, what are the best GPTs for SEO? We've got this backlink pointing to our GPT. In fact, on this page, we've actually got three links pointing to our GPTs and our website by creating these custom GPTs that are just found organically. The other thing is that OpenAI will be paying creators of GPTs for creating them. So you get the backlinks as a byproduct. You'll eventually be able to make money as a GPT creator directly from OpenAI. But additionally, these tools can also send traffic to your website and to your funnels using this process. Because for example, you can see these conversation starters and you'll see at the end of each response, it sends people directly to my funnels along with a UTM so that we can track where the traffic came from. Now, if you're wondering how to implement this step-by-step, -step, what I've actually done is create this step-by-step -step process. But essentially what you do is go to explore and cre create custom GPTs inside GPT. Then you're going to find profitable keywords. Now, how do you know what a profitable keyword is? Well, you want to find something that's related to your tool that you can rank for on Google so you can get more traffic and more backlinks as a result, right? Now, as I said, the backlinks you actually get are, are a byproduct because actually what this is doing in the first place is creating something useful for people who are going to find it. Number two, it's going to generate more traffic directly from the GPT. And number three, it's going to help you automate a lot of processes in your own business. For example, like keyword research for me, the save loss of time. So how can you do this step-by-step? Step? Well, for example, you would go onto a tool like Ahrefs or whatever your favorite tool is, and you can put it in AI and then tool. And then in the middle, you would just replace this with whatever niche you're in. So let's say, for example, you're in the productivity space, right? You could go onto keyword explorer inside Ahrefs, type in productivity tools. And straight off the bat, you can see that AI productivity tools is very low competition and easy to rank for. And you could easily create a custom GPT that ranks for that keyword, generates more direct traffic, which is gonna diversify your traffic anyway, especially for those of you who got hit by the Google Core update and grow your business as a result. And then all you would do on the page is just optimize the title, the byline, the conversation starters, etc., to rank for that keyword. Now, what you also see is that it's got a link to my website right here and my social media profiles, right? So if anyone wants to click on them, for example, on my LinkedIn profile, it will send traffic directly there. So how do you do that? What you can do is if you go to settings, build a profile, and then you can add a link to your website, LinkedIn, GitHub, and Twitter as well. Really easy and simple to do. Now, if you want the full 
step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how to do that, along with examples of my custom GPTs and how I built them, you'll be able to get access at the end of this video. Now, what you can actually automate with ChatGPT as well is writing the outreach email funnels. Now, previously, this was one of the most time consuming parts of actually building a link building campaign. So for example, when I wrote this guest blog a while back on lemlist.com, writing an outreach email like this, for example, to ask for a backlink from other websites would take absolutely ages. But now you can actually use a custom GPT like this one just to automate it. Now, what you can also do is you can find relevant podcasts that you can get backlinks from. So you can just click on find me some relevant podcasts that I can get a backlink from. You put like SEO, for example, or marketing or whatever niche you're in. And then you can see that as a result of getting featured on that podcast, we actually got backlinks in the links and resources section. So you can use a tool like this, obviously edit it before you send anything out, and then it'll recommend a bunch of SEO related podcasts that you could potentially apply to. You know, you might only land like one out of 10 of those, but you can see how it quickly automates the research for you so that you can find the best podcast to reach out to and ask to be featured on. So this Custom GPT is good for outreach, but also for finding relevant podcasts you can be featured on to get more backlinks to your site. Another way to get backlink is to actually talk about AI in your niche, right? So you can see this particular Forbes article, it mentions different entrepreneurs who are using ChatGPT inside their working day. So for example, how people are using it for hiring or for turning a book into video scripts. And that's actually how I got this DR94 backlink right here because I'm talking about relevant case studies in my industry. Little side note there, if you're in the SEO niche, wouldn't recommend it unless you want to get your websites wiped out, but any sort of other industry should be okay. Now, method number six. So if you look at this interview, how to get free DR90 SEO backlinks with Chris Pan, we actually talk through some of the best ways to leverage ChatGPT for PR. Now, if you're going to use this method, obviously you need to edit your content before you send it to the journalist, make sure it doesn't feel and look like ChatGPT. But if you hashtag, for example, journal request, PR request, Harrow, and industry specific hashtags on Twitter, you'll find a lot of journalists who are looking to feature people like you on their website. Then if you use a manual editing process, like the one I talked through yesterday on how to humanize AI SEO content, you can use ChatGPT to create a very human feeling, interesting, and unique response using PR in a way that actually helps you secure, secure more PR backlinks via Twitter. And if you need more details on that, feel free to check out the video tutorial inside that SAP. So thanks so much for watching. We've covered six different ways to build free backlinks with ChatGPT. I've shown you proof that every method works. I've shown you how we get free DR94 backlinks using ChatGPT, using the AI SEO case studies method. You can access all the free SAPs, templates, and processes that I've talked today. I've given you proof that each one works along with six unique chat GPT link building methods. So if you want to get free access to that along with all the SAPs and step-by-step -step processes, I'm going to include that inside my free SEO course. Links in the comments and description, you can get instant access to that. What I would say about all of this process is actually what you're doing is just using chat GPT to create very linkable assets and actually take your content to another level so that you can get more backlinks to your website. So for example, building calculators or arranging data in interesting ways, or just creating free useful tools using custom GPTs that actually get backlinks naturally as a result. So what I'm going to do is put that inside my free chat GPT SEO course. It's going to be in the SEO link building section. I've called that April, 2024, and you can get free instant access to that inside the comments inscription that is published now. And if you want to book in a free SEO strategy session about how to get more leads, traffic and sales using SEO, feel free to book the aim. We'll give you a custom tailored SEO domination plan. We'll answer any questions that you have. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building. You'll learn how to outrank your competitors and the best strategies for your website to attract high quality backlinks. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Bye-bye.